everyone to this Unit 5 on electric bus operation. My name is Manel Rivera and I am a member of the EUITP staff at the bus unit in the Knowledge and Innovation Department. This is an introduction to the key elements of electric bus operations, which will be further developed along with the next modules in this unit. UITP is the International Association of Public Transport and we are working to enhance the quality of life and economic well-being by supporting and promoting sustainable transport in urban areas worldwide. In this presentation, we will go again together through the benefits of operating electric buses. We will continue with the system approach and how electric buses are one of the elements together with the infrastructure and the new operations in the new e-mobility system. We will conclude with a short introduction of some of the elements that ensure a successful electric bus fleet operation. This last point will be fully detailed in another video in this unit. Electric buses have many positive aspects that make them ideal for the urban and suburban landscape. The electric powertrain offers zero emissions at the tailpipe, thus helping improve air quality and reduce noise pollution in cities, which in turn increases public health and quality of life. Also, electric buses offer a better working environment for drivers and for the fleet management staff at the depots, with fewer vibrations, gases and harmful substances linked to combustion engines. In addition, electric buses offer the opportunity to boost the image of the bus service. From the vehicle perspective, an appealing design putting passengers and drivers at the heart of it enhances the system experience by offering comfortable driving and riding experience. Finally, introducing a new bus technology is an opportunity to rethink the bus network and improve the traffic conditions for public transport vehicles. As electric buses are less noisy and do not have exhaust fumes, they offer the opportunity to bring vehicles closer to people, enabling new solutions like indoor bus stops or the possibility of locating bus depot closest to dense areas and thus for the optimizing the operations. Revamping patronage figures for buses after COVID is certainly supported by the collection of potential benefits we just mentioned. Introducing battery electric buses is not only about vehicle replacement, but also a big change in how operators plan and understand their operations. A very wide range of inputs needs to be considered when planning and operating battery electric buses. Battery electric buses imply new ways of financing and procuring and are heavily bonded to the charging infrastructure and the charging strategy adopted, especially with opportunity charging strategies. All these aspects have a strong impact on how buses are operated on a daily basis. Bus routing and scheduling require more and more the assistance of IT tools and the staff need to be updated and rethink their daily job while they need to follow dedicated training on some new skills. Because of this system scale, it is key to involve all the stakeholders from an early stage to ensure a smooth energy transition of our fleet and start operations with ease. In previous units, the phased approach for implementing electric buses has been already presented. You might find it useful to have a look at the different phases. In this unit, the last phase is unlocked, in which operation, planning and customer satisfaction come into play. This last phase includes tasks related to the design of the operation through new schedules, design and implement the right training plans for staff to acquire the new skills required, and also monitoring passenger satisfaction. A new way of operating and maintaining the fleet is needed to ensure and verify the quality of the service and make sure that the vehicles are always ready to welcome new passengers again on board. Because of the big changes an operator needs to face when introducing electric buses, the introduction of new electric buses should be approached cautiously, and it is recommendable to start getting familiar with the new technology before going for larger transformations, as new challenges will arrive as we go through our learning curve. In the electric bus deployment, there is no one-fits-all solution, so a thorough viability plan and the definition of system requirements are necessary. Starting with a few vehicles will allow testing how the new technology performs in the specific conditions of our areas. After the initial pilot, we can select the more suitable line or a couple of lines to be electrified in the first place. To fully understand if the design of the line is suitable, it is recommendable to operate only with electric buses, avoiding mixed fleets, meaning avoiding using conventional buses as the easiest resource 
to face any operation challenge. Doing so, analyzing and comparing the performance of the buses will be easier, and the staff's know-how will advance at a faster pace. It is also convenient to measure the accuracy of how operations were foreseen during the planning phase and what was experienced in real operation. At this stage, we should be ready to gradually increase the number of vehicles and go for larger deployment. As mentioned before, in later videos in Unit 5, we will go through key elements for a successful electric fleet upscale. Very briefly here, standardization and interoperability of the charging infra infrastructure is essential, but beyond this, testing interoperability in the commissioning phase is crucial to ensure interoperability. This is one of the key outcomes of the European Commission-funded Assured project finished in March 2022. Planning and monitoring the operations of the bus service has never been an easy task, but doing so with battery electric buses adds some more variables that need to be taken into account. I will guide you through the basics for this use of IT tools to ensure optimal electric bus operations and the benefits of smart use of energy in another video of this same Unit 5. This complexity again requires a strong cooperation with many stakeholders considering not only the bus manufacturers, but system suppliers, IT companies, data scientists, electric energy distribution and providing companies, just to mention a few. This slide, as we get, as we get closer to the end, is just a reminder of other European-funded projects aiming to advance the knowledge in electric bus operations and boost electric fleets deployment. Thank you very much for watching this video and enjoy the rest of your day.